On today's episode, we're gonna be talking about frost seeding your food plots. Hey guys, well welcome back to another episode of The Hunting Grounds. It's that time of year when it's time to frost seed your food plots. We've got Eagle Seeds Clover Keeper that we're broadcasting today over the candy shop plot. You guys have seen this from beginning to end. And my goal is to show you how we can take this rocky soil and this rough soil to even start with kind of naturally to a really good state where it's really gonna grow some really great food plots. So we came in this year, after we'd cleared it, it was late, and we did a smorgasbord mix with a bunch of wheat and rye on top of it, just to get something to grow and hold the soil together. As you can tell, it's extremely rocky. There is a lot of soil exposure here. It's that time of year when in the daytime we're getting sometimes up to 60, almost 70 degrees at night. It's falling where it's freezing, and so we're getting that freezing and thawing, so this ground is going to be expanding when it's freezing and we're going to be throwing this hard clover seed up on top and so it's going to be expanding and as it expands it's going to capture that clover seed and when it thaws out it's going to draw it right back down into your soil so it's just the perfect time of year it's very easy to do i like to spread my clover seed out a little heavier than normal anytime that you're broadcasting and topically applying you've just got to factor in that there's going to be birds and rodents and uh, even weather conditions that are going to ruin those seeds or eat those seeds and so uh, not all the seeds are going to take so if if you can go through and you can throw it out a little heavier, you're going to be a lot better off. So we've got the cedar on the back of the four-wheeler that we could easily throw all this clover seed into. but. The seed is just so small that if you just miscalculate even for a little bit, you're going to overseed an area and not have enough for your full food plot. So anytime I'm working with these smaller seeds or just planting in general, and if I can walk and plant it with a bag seeder, I'm going to do that. So that's what we've got here. We've got the bag seeder and we've put the clover into it. It just makes sure that we can really monitor and evenly disperse the seed on this property and make sure that we've got enough seed for this food plot and uh, it stretches the full width because I'd hate to just start off and run out about halfway down through the food plot because we use too much seed for the front. So this is close to two acre food plot and we've got easily enough seed to do more than two acres. So we're just gonna finish throwing out the seed. But my goal is not to have this food plot as a clover food plot. I want to come in later with Eagle Seed Summer Mix and I want to broadcast it. It's really going to help build up the soil, create a lot of cover, and uh, that's my ultimate goal right now is just really focus on building up the soil. But with so much soil exposed, I want to make sure something's growing. We've got turkey season coming up and this is a very easy way to go ahead and green up your plot. It's going to help put the nitrogen down into your soil and it's just a very simple thing to do. So the goal is right now is if we can get this growing up, we've got the turkeys in here. I'd put up a feeder, throwing out some corn just to get the turkeys back on the property in a rotation of using the property. They have never stepped foot into the candy shop plot until this last week. I've not had any turkeys on here. They always move north into the big open cattle pastures, but now they're moving back onto the hunting grounds. They know this is where their food is. They know this is where their habitat for nesting is. So I got the corn feeder out and we've got the long beards. I'm really excited to say that in the almost three years that I've had this property we've gone to hardly seeing a turkey to growing and holding some big turkeys on here so last year I took my first ever Missouri Longbeard and it was right here on the hunting grounds and this year I hope to take another one and get some other people on some birds as well that's a trophy if I've ever seen one that's awesome that is way too cool so, so far I've been super excited with the turnout of the Candy Shop Food Plot. I look forward to bringing you guys more updates on how the clover's growing and how the turkey hunts are going because I'll can i go ahead and right now predict that this year at least one long beard will be killed right here in the Candy Shop Plot, if not probably the majority of them because it's just a green oasis out here in the middle of all this timber and I know the turkeys are going to be flocking to it just like they already are. But I look forward to bringing you guys updates on this. Uh, if you guys are interested in knowing any more on this, just be sure to comment down below. I'll try to answer those. If you guys have any other questions on anything that you'd like to see in our videos, comment down below as well. Check out Eagle Seeds Clover Keeper at eagleseed.com. And guys, be sure to comment down below, give a big thumbs up, and until next time, have a better and average day. Over two acres worth of 
So this is easy. So this is the thing. I have like a little bit of hair. Go stop. 